what we're doing today. We're looking for the right part. We're, we're gonna take these forks apart and uh, put new fork seals in them. Normally, what I do and what I did with uh, the KTM, which we're gonna have to do with the 620 also, is basically we're gonna take these forks completely apart, drain all the oil and everything out of them because uh, I can guarantee the oil is extremely old. Uh, if there's any oil left, because I was told the fork seals were leaking and uh, I don't really see any fluid coming out of them anymore. So we're gonna take them all apart and drain whatever oil is in them out Replace the seals, put new oil in it, get the, the weight right and all that stuff, and get it back together. Japanese junk is what it is. It's not WP suspension, that's for sure. Not from Austria. I was just thinking about that movie we just watched. Those kids went on that ferry and were like, well, we're gonna live wherever we're gonna live. Or they, None of them were 18 and all their parents were still on the island. So they would've just ended up back on the island. Doesn't make any sense. Hollywood. Hollywood. Mm. I, need that. I need a whole new bearing. That's not gonna fucking so we're gonna make this a prime example of how not to take care of your bike. Look at this. Doesn't seem too bad. There's more oil inside of it. Once we get this thing completely apart, we'll dump the rest of it out. It's inside the cartridge. We have the dust cover off. It's not really a seal. It's a seal, but it's not a seal. If you look down inside, you'll see a clip. We gotta pull that clip off, then we can take the actual fork seal that is bad out. Once we get that out, we'll pull it down the fork and then pull the whole thing apart, get the cartridge out, get the rest of the oil out of this thing. This, probably the reason it's leaking. <laughs> look at that spring, that's not a round spring. Come on. Supposed to be somewhat kind of like this, except still intact with the seal. So I wanted to add this. When you're rebuilding your seals, make sure you check all your gaskets because this is no good. This it's split into three. Uh, <laughs> it's old. I will. Uh, I'm gonna contact the owner of the bike, see what he wants to do about this. I'm sure he's gonna want to replace it because, like I said, the bike's probably gonna be going up for sale. And we want to make sure everything is right. So, that's no good. The kit that uh, I was given to replace these fork seals only does the inner seal. It does not do the dust cover, which kind of sucks because, you know, when you do them, you really want to do all of them together. Uh, you don't want to leave a part out like this one because this really needs to be changed too. You can see how it's got a lot of wear inside of it right there. Uh, and the spring, I mean, it is worth it. Uh, what I like to do with these forks, especially when we get to this point after we get the new seal in, in order to seat the seal to keep the fork from sliding up and down, I'll put some tape around the actual fork to keep it uh, elevated so it doesn't do this the whole entire time because that is really annoying. All right, so we've got the new fork seal in it. Got the retaining clip in it as well. We're gonna take our tape off, we're gonna put the dust cover on, and get this puppy re-oiled. So, I wanna explain something real quick while I'm doing this. There's a lot of 
back and forth stuff about how much pork oil to put in the pork. The minimum for these, I believe, is 380 uh, milliliters. So we're gonna put about 390 in it. 400 for me was a sweet spot when I when I had this bike and I, I rode it a lot. But um, we'll go with uh, the base, you know, just to make sure everything's okay. We are gonna be using Maxima pork oil because this is what I put in the KTM. It is the absolute best. And that's what this bike is gonna get, the absolute best. So we got the brake side fork done. Uh, new seal, fresh fluid on it. It feels pretty good. We'll get it back on the bike along with this one once we rebuild this guy and uh, make sure everything's set right. We might adjust the rebound and compression a little bit just so I can get it comfortable for me. Uh, that's what uh, I discussed with the owner of the bike uh, to get it to where I feel comfortable on, to where I would take it out and ride it. And uh, then I think it might end up up for sale. So we're basically going to do the exact same thing with this fork. We're going to take the dust seal off. Uh, we'll drain all the oil out of it, pop it loose, put the new inner seal in, put this one back on. This one actually doesn't look bad, but I do highly recommend, uh, just like everybody else out there, I'm sure you guys will attest to this. When you do the seals for these things, replace all of them, not just the internal seals. So we've actually spent quite a lot of time with this bike. I haven't uh, recorded a, a whole lot of it. I just kind of did little things here and there. I actually uh, did, we put new tires on it, obviously. I was gonna record all that stuff, but I brought the, the actual tires inside to let them sit for a few days and get warm because the, the weather's been crazy. It's been in the 20s some days and then in the 60s the next. And uh, you guys have ever put, tried to put cold rubber on a rim it just does not work it doesn't want to stretch or anything so i decided to leave that out of the video i did put a jd jet kit on here i did a carb rebuild on it i actually have one left over from the 400 that i had a few years ago and it actually cleaned up the bike a lot it, there's really not a bog anymore in it. It, it when you got down on it like second and third gear it would bog out and then it would take off and that uh cleaned it up actually that doesn't exist anymore so that's a good thing uh, I intended to get all everything that I've done to this bike on camera and it just didn't happen I, I would spend 10 minutes with it here 10 minutes with it there it took 10 minutes to get the carburetor off uh, you know 10 minutes to get the real wheel off and just little things like that here and there I just didn't record finished getting the decals on this bike and that uh, basically will be it we are going to take it out to Charles City Dirt Riders and jump it it's a motocross bike so I will not be taking this to the trails all I'm going to do is uh, basically get it the suspension tweaked for how I can feel comfortable on it like I mentioned earlier and uh, I'm gonna jump it a whole bunch we'll stick to the motocross track and make sure it is as comfortable and spongy uh, and does what it needs to do on the track while we're jumping it and in corners and out of corners and all, all of that and then we're going to post it up for sale so if you're interested in this we already have a couple people that are talking to me about purchasing it they're kind of hard to find around in our area especially in a uh, good shape like this because it's it is a good bike and uh, there, there's absolutely nothing wrong with it uh, anymore since since I got my hands on it. So if you're interested in it or if you want to come out and uh, test ride it Just let me know shoot me an email send me a, a text Instagram uh, message or whatever Or leave a comment down in the comment section and make sure you like and subscribe to the video And until next time, I appreciate you guys watching. I'm 10 West Moto. This is the YZ 400F rebuild just about complete until we can take it out and jump it and make sure the suspension and everything is right. I'll see you guys on the starting line.